hey guys, Carson here. Um, uh, just a quick video here. I'm gonna show you how um you can um change your drag setting um on your baitcaster. Um, as you see, um, if you have baitcaster like mine, you don't have like there right here you have the brake settings and all that. Um, so what you gotta do, I'll show you here. You see right next to where your um hand is, you've got this, the, this um, I don't know, it's all like five, kind of looks like a five star thing. Um, so if you turn it towards you, it loosens the drag. So see, I can just easily pull this out, no problem at all. But then if I turn it away from me, Turn it away from me. Now I can't pull any drag out. You would have to have a very strong fish for it to pull. And if I, but you can find, keep going. I like to do where if I put a decent amount of force on it, it will come out. Um, I think that's a decent drag because you get a big fish and uh, how you I'll loosen it one more. Now I have a decent drag setting, so very hard to lose a fish now. And a little tip here, um, if you are using monofilament line and you're like stretching it out, um, every time you go fish, you should cut probably to right, you should cut off from right here on because that's the line that's been in the water the longest. Like take a couple yards off and cut it because, um, that that um, line is the most beaten and everything, and there's newer and better line underneath it. So um, you always want a nice line. Um, you should change your line like once or twice a season. Um, like it goes pretty quick. If you use like bobbers or something, always and you take a bobber off, always cut the line afterwards because it'll use little nicks in there, and that can make your line not as strong. Oh uh, yeah, so. I'm Carson and I'm yours.